Well, welcome back to algebra class. Today we're going to talk about multiplying a polynomial by a, a monomial. Our goal for today is to be able to find the product of a monomial and a polynomial. First thing we have to talk about today is the distributive property. We're going to be using that. So the distributive property can be used to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So let's go ahead and use that to help us out here. So first of all, we want to find the product. So to do that, we need to distribute So when we distribute, we'll go ahead and actually do that to each term. So 5 times negative 4 is going to be negative 20. a squared times a squared is a to the fourth. 5 times positive 2 is positive 10. a squared times a is a to the third. 5 times negative 7 is negative 35 a squared, and we have nothing to multiply that by, so we're left with simply a squared. We have no like terms here, so we can't combine anything, and we are all done with this problem. Next up, same exact thing here. So um, the one trick on this problem here is you want that negative sign. Think of that like a negative 1. So we really have negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. C times, we have no C, so it's going to be C d squared times d is d to the third. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. c times c squared is going to be c to the third. d squared times d is d to the third. Negative 1 times negative 4 is going to be positive 4. c times c is going to be c squared. And d squared, and we have nothing multiplying that, so it's going to be d squared. We have no like terms here, so we are done with this problem. Let's go ahead. This time we actually have two different distributions. We have our first distribution, and we have our second distribution. Okay, so our first one, we have 3 times 5 is 15 x squared, 3 times 2x is going to be 6x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Negative x times 7x squared, so that's really like a negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. x times x squared is x to the third. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. x times x is x squared. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3, and we have an x multiplying that. Now we're going to go ahead and check and see if we have any like terms here, which we have an x cubed. I do not have any other x cubed, so I have negative 7x cubed. I have an x squared. I have a negative 2x squared, so altogether I have 13 x squared. I have a 6x and I have a 3x, so altogether I have 9x's. And finally I have a negative 12. There's nothing to go with that, so it's just going to be minus 12. I no longer have any like terms, so I'm moving on to the next problem. Do the same thing as we did last time, so distribute each thing. So 4y times y squared, so I have 4 because there's no other numbers multiplying it. y times y squared is y to the third. 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. y times y is y squared. I have 4 times 6, so that's going to be 24 y. I have negative 3 times 2, that's going to be negative 6 y cubed. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to be positive 15. 
y squared, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Once again, go ahead and see if we have any like terms. So my highest degree term is a y cubed. I do have another y cubed right here. So I have 4 y cubes minus 6 y cubes. That's going to be negative 2 y cubes. I have a y squared. I have negative 32 y squareds, and I have 15 y squareds. If I add those together, I have negative 17 y squareds. I have a 24y, so plus 24y, and I have a negative 6. I have no other like terms, so I am done with that problem, so I'm ready to go ahead and move on from there. Now this time we actually introduce an equal sign, so I'm going to actually draw a line right down my problem here, because I'm actually going to be able to solve this. And the reason I can solve it is because I have an equal sign. If I don't have an equal sign, I can't solve it. But because I have an equal sign, I can solve this thing. So let's go ahead and do our distributions first. So I have x times 2x is going to be 2x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. I also have that plus x right there. That's on my left-hand side. I want to also distribute on my right-hand side. So I have 2x times x is going to be 2x squared. 2x times negative 6 is negative 12x. And I also have the plus 16. Now, on the left-hand side, I actually have some like terms I can combine. I have a negative 5x and I have a positive, six, or a positive x. So I can actually combine those. So I'll have 2x squared. Negative 5x plus x is going to be negative 4x. On the right-hand side, I don't have any like terms, so I just simply rewrite it as it is. Okay. Now, my next step, I need to get rid of my x squared, so I'm going to say minus 2x squared on the one side. Minus 2x squared on the other. Because what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. That leaves me with negative 4x equals negative 12x plus 16. I want to get x alone here. So I'm going to move my 12x or negative 12x over. So I'm going to add 12x on one side, add 12x on the other. Negative 4x plus 12x is going to be 8x and I'm left with 16 on the other side. Divide both sides by 8, and I'm left with x equals 2. And that's actually my final answer. We have one more problem to do, so let's go ahead and do that. So here, once again, I have just a bunch of distributions. Also, I have an equal sign, so I need to draw a line right down the middle of that. Let's go ahead and do our distributions. Now, y times y is y squared. y times negative 12 is negative 12y. y times y is y squared. y times 2 is 2y. And I'm left with a plus 25 equals. On the other side, I have 2y times y is 2y squared. 2y times 5 is 10y. Then I have a negative 15 right there. Now, on my left-hand side, I do have some terms that I can combine. I have a y squared and a y squared, so that leaves me with 2y squared. I also have a negative 12y and a positive 2y. That's going to be negative 10y's when I combine those. And then I still have the plus 25. On the right side, there's nothing I can do. There's no like terms. So I just leave it as it is. Okay. 
I need to get rid of my y squared, so I'm going to say minus 2y on y squared on one side, minus 2y squared on the other. So I'm left with negative 10y plus 25 equals 10y minus 15. I'm going to go ahead and try and get my y's by themselves. So I'm going to add 10y on both sides. There I am left with 25 equals 20y minus 15. I'm going to add 15 on both sides. So I get 40 equals 20y. I'm going to divide both sides by 20. And I ran out of space, so I'm actually going to write it over here. But I get my final answer of 2 equals y. That's it for our notes today. Go ahead and start your homework at this point. Have a great rest of your day.